podcast. Welcome to the Robin's Nest, everybody. Yes. No adults, no, no rules. rules. So we're at the Robin's Nest, and we are talking about fathers. We're talking about fathers tonight, Day. and or this morning, or whatever. Whatever you're watching, is, whatever, whatever time it could be. Uh, we're going to talk about Father's Day, and I wanted to share about my father because I'm suggesting all our friends tick on TikTok Live that they should get a card or something, even if they don't like their dad. Right. Because I had a dad who was um, looked like a movie star, but wasn't always the best dad. He's dead, so he can't really answer this. I can't interview him, but he would We could pull out the Ouija board. We could interview anybody that I are guess alive. We, I guess we could pull out the Ouija board, but let's not do that tonight. Um, anyway, um, what my, my idea is, is that even if, you know, my dad was making me crazy and he wasn't the best, I always gave him a card. I always gave him a present and I feel good about that. I have no regrets and not just because I gave him presents on father's right. day, you know, I, I tried to be the best daughter I could. Now he didn't always like the presents and if he didn't like it, he'd give it back to me. I mean, what is that? <laughs> If you get a present from somebody, don't give it back. Say, Just thank, thank you. you. But he couldn't do that. He couldn't do it. I try to buy him his favorite thing. Like I bought him a jelly roll. He loved jelly rolls. One year I bought him a jelly roll and he took a bite of it. And he said, you know, this is very dry. Why don't you take it back with you? I'm like, throw it out. Say, thank you, Robin. I really appreciate it. It's so sweet of you to think of me. I'm only telling you guys these stories to, if this happens to you, you know, how to, how to act. So anyway, um, we're giving Mark a pool party at the cemetery. Uh, that's what he's getting this year. And did you want to talk anything about the gifts you used to give your dad, Emma? I feel like I used to give him good gifts. Of course we did. No, not we, me. Oh, you. Well, yeah. Me. Uh, who paid for him? Me. me. Okay. Emma paid for him. You gave him allowance. a great birthday present just la before he died. great last birthday and present. And I did not help you at all with that. No, you didn't. You didn't. But now we give we give him fries. Yeah. Yeah. And Sam and Emma went around town and they got fries from every fast food fry place around. Except someone said you didn't get any from Chick-fil-A and they have really it good fries. It was Sunday. Oh, they're closed on Sunday. They're closed on Sundays. So whoever made that comment, remember this was on a Sunday. Father's Day is on a Sunday and they were closed. So we couldn't do that. But one of my favorite Father's Days I ever had with Mark was we took the kids, these two, Sam and Emma, to Gettysburg. And that was really a great trip. My mom went to, remember Emma? Yeah. And it was raining and we took a tour bus through the cemetery. Always cemeteries, you know, what can I say? So that was one of our best Father's Days that I can remember. Yes. Yeah. Um, my dance recital. The other thing that happened on Father's Day every year, and I don't know if it still is, Emma had her dance recitals. So that was always a treat since Emma didn't really like to dance. She hated it. But Father's Day, we'd have her dance recital every year. It was so great. Right, Em? Yeah. Yes, I was a dance mom. Barely. Folks, so no, you were barely a dance. a dance mom. Well, I don't even know. You know, I wasn't like those women. But because, you know, I thought Emma was going to be a great dancer. Really, really cute. But um, it didn't work. It didn't work. Emma didn't like to dance. At her, no. at her first recital, when the music started, all the little girls were dancing. She just stood there still. I wish we could play that for everybody. That I, when I just stood there still? Yeah, she stood there and the girls danced around her. And then she wouldn't get off the stage and everyone was laughing. And that's when she first fell in love with doing stand-up. <laughs> she was three. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm reading some of these comments. Edna, a.k.a. Dance Mom mode. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Um, I just wanted a good little dancer. Since my niece was a ballerina, I thought Emma could be better than her. But it didn't turn out that way. Emma's better at a lot of other things. Most other things. Most other things than that cousin. But that cousin is no, a ballerina. There, there, there would have been no world where I would have been like on Dance Moms. Like Abby didn't dance. I, I did not. She wouldn't even try. I wouldn't try. She on wouldn't purpose. try. She'd go to class every week and stand there. I don't know what she was trying to prove to me, but it that didn't was work. Funny. Well, you were funny. Yeah, it was. It was funny. funny. But I didn't know that at three years old that you were practicing to be a stand-up. Yeah, it was fun. Well, it wasn't fun to me. 
Okay, we've got Sam here. We're all here. We're here talking about Father's Day. We've got Sam on the call. Sam, what was your favorite Father's Day with Daddy? Do you remember? Nope. <laughs> Probably one of remember. the ones one of the ones uh after he'd already died, honestly. Because Father's Days are like fun now for us. Yeah, but Father's Days were always fun. Always fun. We did a lot at the pool. But I would say, with the, like, with uh, Carol and those. Guys. I would say most recently, they've been more fun. Like, I, I think when Dad first died, like, they weren't. They oh, were not we fun. Dreaded it. They were not fun, right? We dreaded Father's Day and Mother's Day and Halloween and, and birthdays and everything. Everything. But now we Father's Day is like one of the most fun things that we do because we spend the day together talking about our dad, going to the cemetery, having a picnic, eating fries. And, and having a great time. And making videos, which Mark would have loved. And um, this year, of course, like I said, we are doing a pool party at the cemetery. And then, Sam, I haven't invited you yet, but we're yeah, going we're to going the pool. To, we're and Eric's going to be there. And oh, Eric is well, Carol's son. And so it's we're going to celebrate his birthday and Father's Day. Well, guys, what the hell? Because I saw you the other day, and you guys both said you were doing your own thing, so I made plans. And now okay, you're telling me Robin Carol didn't tell me about this until literally an hour ago. Well, Carol and I just just uh, put it. Together. I heard her on the phone with Terry, train guy. Sorry, we don't oh, want to reveal his secret identity. I heard her on the phone, and she's like, "Oh, we're going. Then we're all going to the pool." I was like, "Who's uh, who's all of us? Am I invited?" She's like, "Oh yeah, you're invited." I was gonna tell you. I was gonna tell you when. Well, what plans did you make, Sam? Sam's going to a barbecue. Oh, okay. I'm going to Jordan's Sam's, family. Sam's going to a barbecue. Okay, well, you're missing Maplewood with your family. All right. Well, you told me that you were doing um, your own thing. Here's no. a Robin's Nest live on TikTok exclusive. Um, we did Father's Day early this year. We we did Father's Day uh, a couple days ago. The three of us got together and celebrated. Um, so just in case we're not all together on the actual day, we set aside the time to do something together but i went ahead because you know carol's my best friend and i'm not spending father's that. day like You're... our celebration father's day with 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 your boo so we did our own celebration well i'm not spending our father's day with your boo so my there. boo's not not your father <laughs> it's a little different well, it's my a little boo, different my boo's it's a not your different. father either correct and that is the exact is the exact point that i am making well I I'm spending Father's Day with, ridiculous? The, with Carol. See how ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. See how ridiculous it sounds. Well, you guys sound ridiculous. I'm saying we're spending Father's Day at the pool with Carol and her family. I I will say I, I won't say I, the last name. I think this is like one of the first fights we've gotten to on the podcast. Who's in a fight? You. You're yelling at me. I'm not in a fight. Yeah, you're so aggressive, you're Mom. So aggressive. Oh my gosh. Your boo's not my daughter. I'm not aggressive. Are you coming to Maplewood? I don't know. I haven't decided. Well, you just Matt's told me invited. an hour ago. Well, Matt's invited. Well, thank you. I appreciate it's that. It's just different. You were aggressive Jake. earlier too, Mom, when you were telling Emma to go to law school. Oh, my. I've had. <sighs> I got that message from your daddy. Aggression. My dream. Ag what? Yep. You. He came down to you in a dream and he said, tell Emma to go to law school. He said, how's Emma doing in law school? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. This dream just happened this last weekend. You're full of it. I am not. I had this total dream about Mark, and he wanted to know how you're doing in law school. I don't know where he's been. He should know how you're doing. He yeah, is. Isn't he watching? I think he's supposed to be watching all the time. All the time. All, all the time. time. Now, today on uh, on today's episode of The Robin's Nest, we, we were going to pull out the Ouija board and interview Mark live. Um, oh, I didn't know we were doing that. I'm, I dressed up. I'm wearing um, a cute little sweater. Yeah, but I um, I figured maybe we didn't want to bring the Ouija board into our own home. Yeah, is it, where is it? It's a storage That's center. smart. It's at the storage unit. So I think we take some chairs and a little table over there. and we To the storage unit? To the storage unit. We set up shop there and do the Ouija board so that we don't bring it home. <laughs> or we could take but it to the pool on Father's Day. And we also tomorrow. did... Mom, we did the Ouija board in like the number one place you're not supposed to do a Ouija Who board. Knew? I thought it was the best place I thought to it do was the Ouija funny, board. But so everyone, we I did thought the it was Ouija great too. Cemetery, and let me just tell you, nothing bad happened. 
nothing bad happened. Knock on wood. No, so, uh, no, nothing bad has happened yet. And that's been but a we while. We also know the trick. Ago. We know the trick, mom. Can you can you tell people how that started? Why do you do that? Because Vicky, my personal trainer, lived with ghosts and had them all over her street. She in lived with ghosts? Him. Well, they were in her house. And she told me, this is <laughs> when you leave a house or a place where there's spirits, you go like this to and not get rid take, of the ghosts. Not take them with you. Right. Because I didn't want to bring them home. They're fine over at the cemetery. Now, I thought that the, doing the Ouija board at the cemetery was the best place that we could have done it because there's more likely to be some action there, right? Like you're the you're the closest to the, but there's nothing in those coffins or whatever. Bodies. They're just well, they're they're deteriorated. Well, well, now we're now we're getting into you know what what do you believe? Well, the, supposedly the spirit rises out of the body and goes where? I don't know. Does it float around? I don't know. When we get the Ouija board out, we should say, spirits, do where you are you? Do you float around? Yeah, do you float around? <laughs> where are you floating? Where is the best place for floating? And what do you look like? Do you, look do you wear like, a life preserver? Do you look like the age that you were when you died? Or do you look like your hottest version of yourself? I heard they get to pick which They which get to one? pick? Yeah, they get to pick what they okay. want to look like. You didn't hear, Mom. We went to a medium, and this is what she told us. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so where I got that? So she did hear it. She heard it from someone. Is that where I got that? The medium said that they present themselves as whatever they want at that time. So like any yeah. stage of life, I think. Yeah. So daddy's looking thin and handsome. So hey. dad had a mustache. Yeah. You know what, Sam? I forgot to tell you guys this. Aunt Randy has a medium. We can we can meet with her on Zoom. And she's supposed to be fantastic. Oh my I God. I was thinking maybe we should do that for a Father's Day treat. See if we could talk. Why does Aunt Randy have a medium? I think it would be fun to bring a medium on the podcast and do a live reading. Well, I don't know if I want everyone to know what she's going to say to me. What is she going to say? What secrets do you have to hide? It's not secrets. That'd be wild. It's not secrets. It's, you know, the future stuff. Remember, Sam and I went to the medium together. Do you remember stuff she told us? She told me I was going to get married again. Remember all that? that I remember happen. everything. You do, don't we have it on recording somewhere? I don't know if you still have it. It's some, somewhere. It's somewhere on a Google Drive. But you remember everything, Sam? She did say weird things. Like I listened to the recording and she had talked about, said that I buried a note at the cemetery. Ooh, I'm getting chills. And I did you? you did. I didn't tell anybody <gasps> that I did that. Oh. I didn't even I, know you did that. Breaking I, news. I, I went over by myself to the cemetery. It was like one of the days after I graduated high school, I think. And I went over by myself and I buried a note at the cemetery. And I told nobody because Robin doesn't like me going over there by myself. I told nobody. And it came out in that reading that I did that. That is bizarre. Where'd you I bury it? The chills. Can we dig it up? No, we can't dig it up. It's been there for 10 years. Where Where was it? Plenty of stuff has been there for 10 years. Well, lots of stuff has been there for over 10 years. <laughs> That's been there 14. 13 and a half. Quit exaggerating. Wow. 13 and a half. Um, but yeah, I, I do remember that, Emma, that she said that Emma buried a note there. Or something, Sam. Yeah, and doesn't I, that give you the chills, Sam? Maybe we should. Randy says this new one is fantastic, and and she's only eighty dollars. Randy pays her a hundred. <laughs> we should what, do it. I'm who is Randy to talking it. to? Well, Randy wanted to know. Well, but she went to her before she knew that Felicia was pregnant, and, and she, she told her. She told her she was going to have twins, girls. Oh, so what? she's a psychic too. Yeah. Oh, like legit. Yeah, she's legit. That's crazy. I think we should go to her. Well, yeah, she also I had a 50-50 shot. No, she didn't. No, she didn't have a 50-50 shot. She didn't know she was pregnant. And she twins? didn't know twins. Two girls? Twins. That's not 50-50. No. That's crazy. Right. That actually is wild. I know. And and the note that you buried the note was yeah. crazy. Well, when she told, and she knew about Sam's red car, but you know, that just could be a guess. Remember Sam? She, <laughs> Be a guest. Yeah. yeah. She saw him and pull she, up outside and she told me you're getting married again, me. And I said, I don't think so. And she knew about something I kept in my wallet too. What? A condom. 
That's easy. <laughs> Every guy carries a condom in their wallet. That's an no. Easy I kept test. I kept this little card that Dad had given me, and I kept it in my wallet for years, and she knew about it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I farted. And Emma thinks it's so funny. Doesn't everyone fart? Yeah, but you did. And we just looked at each other and you <laughs> smiled. Emma made me dinner and it made me a little gassy. She fried up a salmon burger, you know, and I don't oh my really God. eat fried foods. Thanks, Emma. Well, well, speaking of fried foods, since it's Father's Day, we're, we're talking about dad and fries and all that good stuff. I thought that we would all share... Um, something from that we used to do in grief group. We used to do a, you know, a, a pearl and an onion, a good thing and a bad thing from the week. So I thought that we would uh, would each share a sweet potato fry and a small fry. Thanks for giving us a lot of notice on this. No notice. No notice. Okay, Emma, you go first since you know what we're talking about. All right, my um, my my sweet potato fry of the week is uh, was was Father's Day celebration with you guys. Um, sharing memories about dad and um, and just having having a great time driving around and getting fries with Sam and um, and my my small fry of the week what, what was my small fry of the, I had a, I had a pretty good week small yeah. small fry of the week would I mean it's only Tuesday yeah but she's counting from last I'm counting Tuesday. every day my my small fry of the week would be uh, being stuck in traffic. Traffic is a small fry. Yeah, no good. I'm going with that's my small fry. You're going. You can't take I it. I was stuck in traffic on Monday, which was yesterday. I can't right. take that. And what's your sweet potato fry? Well, I love being at the cemetery with you guys too. So you took my same thing. Yeah. Spoiler alert! I might take it too. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it was. I got to tell you guys. It was that's fun. The most fun I've had at the cemetery. Yeah, and we've had a lot of fun there, but that was are really... We, are we a little messed up? We're like, oh my God, that's the most fun I've had at the cemetery, and I've had so much fun at the cemetery. That's crazy. And I Should we give a little guys, spoiler? When when we when we pull up to, to do some of our crazy things, we, this oh. year we're having a pool party at the cemetery. When we pulled up with our pool noodles and our kiddie pool... Um, I was really praying that there was there weren't any funerals going on. There were that a good number a of cars there. We were freaking out no. at first. I know. I thought there was a funeral going on because it was Sunday. So, you know, there would be. That's like, that's the worst. That's the worst part about having fun at the cemetery and, and grieving the way that we do is that um, a lot of people go there to be sad. Well, and we're 13 and a half years out. Right. It's different than being a year out or 13 days or 13 weeks. It's different. And, you know, once you come to accept their passing, then things get easier. And that's where we are. Right. That's and you know what, Emma, we haven't addressed that it is going to be a tough day for a lot of people. people Absolutely. Who just lost their dad or some, you know, people who've lost their husband recently. It's, it's going to be a tough day. But I just want you all to know that it will pass and it'll go fast and that we understand that it's a tough day for a lot of people. And, you know, if, if you have a bad relationship with your dad, if you don't have a dad, um, I, I would say like the hardest thing for me when dad first died was was social media and, and seeing everybody post like happy pictures with their dads and, and knowing that mine, mine was gone. Yeah. Worse. So don't look at social media on Father's Day and the unless day you're after. looking at our stuff. Unless you're looking at our stuff, but I mean like Facebook and all those kind of things. You can look at ours. Ours is going to be happy and funny and you know realistic. But um, you know, and you also got to remember on some of these posts that people are pretending to be happy and perfect, and it's not true. So don't. Social let media people... isn't real. No. We're real, but you know how people make posts like they've got the happiest family in the world. And then in reality, they don't speak. I mean, people yeah. put a lot of pictures on there and, oh, we're doing this and we're doing that. Don't get that FOMO. Isn't that what it's called? Emma? Yeah. Yeah. Forget right. FOMO. Now, now, Sarah on TikTok has a question. She said that this is going to be their third Father's Day uh, without her dad. She thinks her mom's going to have uh, a hard time, had a really hard time. The first year was okay last year, but thinks this year is going to be tough. 
what was that third Father's Day like for us? And and mom, what was what's Father's Day in the beginning like for you as as the the mom? Well, if you oh wait, oh it's your grandpa, not your dad, Sarah. So for your mom, for your mom. Well, it's still a good question. Yeah, it's still great a question. good question for anybody. Well, the way we handled it, we celebrated Mark. So we did things that Mark would like to do. So we went out to eat and we went to a movie because that's what we would do if Mark were alive. You know, we did a lot of trips too, but he loved going to the movies. And one Father's Day, we took him to this place that had belly dancing. Do you remember that, Sam? We surprised oh, yeah. him. So, you know, we, the three of us on those first Father's Days that, you know, before we did the picnic at the cemetery with the fry, we would go out to eat. We'd go to a movie. The three of us would spend the day together. Um, I think we went to the pool yeah. a few years. You know, we, we just spent the day together just doing stuff that, that Mark would like to do and talking about him. I think it's really healing and therapeutic to talk about your loved one. And, and I think for somebody who, you know, if you have a friend whose dad is, has died and, and you don't know what to do on Father's Day for them, like the best thing that you can do is bringing up their dad. Like the thing that we love to do on Father's Day, talking about our dad and, and the memories and that kind of thing. I think it would be really awesome, Sarah, with your mom, if, if you talk about your grandfather on, on Father's Day and, and ask her to share her favorite memories of him. Um, and remembering those those really special times that he had. And the next person said that um, that hers is complicated, or his, I can't see who it is, but that time heals. And you know, time does heal. And that's like an old saying, you know, time heals our wounds and makes better our sorrows. And it does, it does. But it's, you know, you got to feel it, go through it. And with time, things do get easier. Yeah, and because I always said, like, I don't think that time heals, but I think time helps. And right? that's a good way to look at it. Like, you're you're never going to actually be fully healed. I saw something the other day that said, you know, like, you're a different version of yourself after grief. You know, so you're also grieving the, the old life that you had. And you were a child. And I, and I was a so, kid, so I was going through a lot of changes. Right, so things have really changed for you. Yeah. I mean, I hope. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And things have really changed for me as an adult, you know, being married and having kids and then all of a sudden losing my parents, losing my husband. And, you know, here I am. And the other thing um, I very highly recommend is always have your own life, have your own hobbies, have your things, because you just don't know what's going to happen. Try not to depend on anyone for your happiness and your fun. You know, try to have some things of your own. That really helped me when Mark died because I had my own friends and I had my own job. And that really, that really meant a lot to me. Well, everybody, Sam, do you have anything else about Father's Day that you want to uh, wrap up here? No, basically what you guys said. I mean, it's important to do little things that, you know, you remember the person by and just... Cherish the memories you got while you got them. That's right. That's a bit. That's what Sam and I were talking this weekend. The memories that you have while you have them, because like Sam and my memories are fading. Um, so talking about them definitely helps um, keeping those memories alive. But the pictures, pictures, videos. Absolutely. Maybe maybe we'll hop on YouTube and do a vlog going through some old pictures with you guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would love it. So be on the lookout for that. It has been so much fun being in the robin's nest with you guys. We hope that those of you that have dads are celebrating them this weekend. Those of you that are without dads are, are finding some way to either memorialize them or do something for yourself. Um, we love you all. New episodes of the robin's nest every Friday on youtube spotify apple wherever you get your podcasts and always be on the lookout for our content at it's the rosenthal's and we can't wait to see you soon and remember and, and remember i do cameos and remember robin does cameos she loves to plug it love you all